Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it is close. The Six Nations is just days away. And that means we're about to start talking about team selection for certain matches. And today, we're going to talk about the team selection for who I think Warren Gatland should pick for Wales to play against the French at the Stade de France on Friday night. So if you're psyched for the tournament, if you love rugby, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and get involved in it, the comments down below. Let's get into it. So to point out straight on is that Lee Hoff and he will not be fit for this match so if he was fit he would have started for me but because he's not we've obviously had to bring someone else in and the obvious person for me really was Liam Williams. Liam Williams has been in fantastic form for South and has played a lot of rugby on the wing but has played a lot at fullback. He's obviously a fantastic attacking minded fullback and loves to run at the opposition and has a natural knack for finishing tries so Liam Williams experienced over 50 caps for Wales is into my team. On the wing then in the number 14 shirt is Josh Adams of Worcester. He has been in incredible form for Worcester. When he came into the Wales team, it was a bit of a surprise that he was put in to be honest, but he has shown his quality, not just attacking wise, but defensively as well, putting in a shift against Australia and South Africa as well in the autumn. That's one good thing we did in the autumn. We built our players up. We have such good squad depth now that although we have so many injuries, we are able to cope with it. But Josh Adams deservedly dis goes into my side. Then in the number 13 jersey, the first of the two centres, it is Jonathan Davis of the Scholars, one of the best attacking minded centres in the world. He was injured quite a while back now and he was injured for quite a long time, but he's come back to Scarlet's, performed well, and for Wales performed really well again, that try against Scotland, of course, in the autumn. For the Six Nations, he's going to be key and he seems to play really well in the Six Nations. It's a habit of scoring tries in this fantastic tournament. So Jonathan Davis, no question for me, is into the side. And number 12 had a bit of an issue between two players, between Hadley Parks and Owen Watkin. Hadley Parks has not been playing great for the Scarlets, that's the honest answer, but he did start a lot of the autumn. Obviously in autumn 2017 he had a fantastic autumn, but this autumn wasn't that great, let's be honest. Owen Watkin, a young, exciting talent coming through. But I have decided to go with experience on this one. Hadley Parks is the first game away at France. You just don't know how France are going to be in that game. So you need that experience just to play, I think. And that physicality which he does bring. And him and Jonathan Davis have the natural chemistry from playing together at the Scarlet. So Hadley Parks in only just. On the other wing then, it's quite obvious, George North had a great autumn, has had a brilliant time with the Ospreys over the past few months, looks like he's back to his best, so George North, powerhouse, give him the ball, that's what we want to see, we want to see him having a lot of the ball, and so George North is on the wing. Now the big question of course is who is going to start at 10, we have a few options, we have Patchell, we have Jared Evans, we have Anscombe and we have Bigger. Now Anscombe seems to make the shirts his own over the autumn and I have gone with Anscombe, I think he's deserved it. I think he's putting good performances, I think when Bigger's come off the bench it's worked and I just don't think that Jared Evans is ready for it and I think Patchell's had a few injury knocks and I don't think he's ready for it either. So I'm very happy to put Anscombe in there, I think he plays well, he gives us that attacking edge and I think he's got the shirt now for the World Cup. If he has a good Six Nations, it's certain for him, it's his to lose now. So Anscombe goes into my team. Then at that scrum half, there were talks that possibly Gareth Davis wouldn't be fit, but earlier today it was announced that he was going to be fit. So Gareth Davis goes into my team only just again. Thomas Williams at the Cardiff Blues has been brilliant. He's been fantastic. Such an attack-minded player, and for Wales in the autumn, showed what he could do. Of course, we have Ale Davis as well of the Ospreys. I don't think he's ready to start, but coming off the bench is certainly an option for us. If we're doing well against teams into the 60th minute, I'm sure Thomas Williams will get a run out um, on the pitch and will perform for us. But Gareth Davis is on for me. I just think that his experience a bit more over Thomas Williams, he has to start for me. Now on to the forwards. Now, Talupe Falatao injured, so not available. Really sad story that, you know, he broke his arm, came back, played one game, and in that game got exactly the same injury again. He's going to miss the whole tournament. And the thing about our side now is we have squad depth. And when time's gone past where, of course, you're going to miss someone of Falatao's quality. But in times gone by, we wouldn't have been able to cope with it at all. 
So Ross Moriarty starts at eight for me. Powerful, strong, ball carrier, gets over the game line. Big tackler as well. I'm very happy to see him in the squad and I think he'll do a good job for us. In the number seven jersey then for me is Justin Tipperick, one of the best attacking minded forwards in the world. We want to see him with a bit more ball in hand. Over the autumn he took a more defensive role in a lot of what he was doing. So for getting over the ball, which he's brilliant at doing, but we do want to see him have a bit more ball in hand and hopefully the next player will help him be able to do that. And this is the controversial one I've gone for guys. Let me know in the comments down below, do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? In the number six jersey I've gone for Aaron Wainwright. Now this is an interesting decision, of course, you had players such as Josh Navidi who could possibly play there, Seb Davis could play there, people like that. But I have gone for Aaron Wainwright, who I believe over the autumn proved himself to be a fantastic player and ready for this level of rugby. He played against South Africa in that final match and he actually played in a position that he wasn't used to playing in at all after an injury and having to change that position again. For the Dragons he's been consistent, he's young, he's vibrant, he's got a lot going for him. I really want to see him make a statement for the World Cup in this Six Nations. I believe he can and I'm really excited to see what he can do. So Alan Wainwright into my team is controversial, vote in the poll above should he be in the starting 15. Then the number five jersey, Adam Beard, the tallest man in Wales possibly. Just great option at the line out, had a good autumn and had a good summer as well out in Argentina. So he is in the team for me. Number four then, Captain Fantastic, Alan Wynne Jones. Not much really to say about him, he's just class, leader and just brilliant all over the pitch. So he is into my side. Then for the front row, I've gone with Samson Lee, first of all. Samson Lee, just powerful player, good scrummager. He's into my team. Hooker then is Ken Owens. He can play anything. He can play 8. He could probably play 10, 15. He's done it for the Scarlets. But he is in the best hooker we have on offer, I believe. And his leadership skills, obviously, from being captain at the Scarlets, will help him with Wales. And alongside him, his teammates, a three Scarlet front row, is Rob Evans. I've enjoyed watching Rob Evans over the last year or so. Really developed his game with ball in hand. That's something we've done well. The forwards have become comfortable with having ball in hand and being able to offload when it's right, being able to throw the right pass instead of just getting the ball and trying to hit them over the game line. We're developing our game and that can only be a good thing for the World Cup. So there you go, that's my team, the full team in full view. Liam Williams at fullback, Josh Adams on the wing, Jonathan Davis and Hadley Parks at centre, George North uh, on the other wing, and Skim and Gareth Davis are the halfback pairing. Number eight is Ross Moriarty, Justin Tipperick, Aaron Wainwright, and Adam Beard do seven, six, and five. And then Alan Wynn is number four as captain, and then Samson Lee, Ken Owens, and Rob Evans as a front row. One of my predictions, well, I do think we're going to win. Uh, France are really struggling at the minute. You just don't know what France is going to turn up a lot of the time. But I do think we'll get the win. I think we'll win quite confidently, to be honest, and quite well. I think we'll win by at least 10 points on the night. And the French crowd do turn against their own team when they're not performing well. So if we can start well, get an early score, then I think we will win quite comfortably. So there we go, that's my team on who I think should play against France this Friday. It's going to be live on TV, so make sure to watch it and support the lads. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below who you would pick and your predictions for the results. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any action of the Six Nations here on Bish Rugby. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Enjoy the rugby.